Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live with our world famous top 10 stocks for July 2022, exclusively from location in Mexico. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, we bring in the analysis, and we bring it to you first. Thank you guys for watching. Don't touch that dial. Here we go, exclusively here on Rich TV Live, our top 10 stocks for July 2022. We've got some stocks that you can buy when the market goes down. We've got three really good quality dividend stocks, and we've got a few growth stocks for you. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, with our top 10 stocks in number 10, the ProShares Ultra short QQQ. Now this is shorting the NASDAQ. You can see here, if we go to the one year chart, how it's performed, it's performed quite well. It's been as low as $28, been as high as 67, currently at $55. And if you're looking to short the NASDAQ and you believe that this market will continue to go down like it has all year, this is a great way to make money and hedge your bets on the market going down. This is the SQQQ. And you can see here, it is the ProShares Ultra Short QQQ. And if you go to uh, analysis and opinion, you'll see clearly that it is very bullish right now with the price of the NASDAQ going down, the price of the ProShares Ultra Short QQQ are going up. And if we go to technical, technical analysis, they'll give us their opinions and chances are it's going to be very, very bullish. There it is, strong buy, as you can see, very, very bullish, strong buy and buy. So that is my number 10 pick. And we can also go to richtv.io and you just type in SQQQ. And you'll see right there, the ProShares Ultra Short QQQ will pop up. You can add it to your watch list. You can see the price action and see key data regarding the SQQQ, my number 10 pick for July 2022. Now, in number nine, I want to continue with this focus on making money while the market goes down. Everyone's like, how do I make money when the market goes down? Should I be shorting? I don't like shorting because you could potentially lose more than what's in your account when you short. These are stocks. These are ETFs. These are trades you can make when the market goes down and you're buying like a stock. So you're not having to worry about getting short squeezed. You're not having to worry about losing your entire account or more with a short squeeze because it's a stock. If it goes down, you can hold it. If it goes up, you can hold it. You can sell when it's up. You can sell when it's down. You don't have the same fears a shorting of a stock, but you get the downside, uh, you know, when the market goes down, you get that downside opportunity where you're actually making money when the stock market goes down. And if we go to richtv.io and we type in VXN, you'll see right there the CBOE NASDAQ 100. And these are volatility trades that you can make if you're looking to make money on the market on the way down, you can join our trading community at richtv.io and the VXN. If you take a look at the one year chart, you can see it's been as low as $18, been as high as 44, currently at 35. So it's gone up more than, it's gone up about 100% from its bottoms, uh, giving you a great way to make money with the market going down. That is my number nine pick for July, 2022. And we're gonna continue with these trades, the VIXY ProShares VIX short-term futures, also green today with the market being red. So these are just more ways to make money with the market going down. Very important. I wanna help you guys make money in any single market and every single market condition. So this is the VIXY. So we've given you the SQQQ, we've given you the VXN, 
Now we're giving you the VIXY Pro Shares VIX Short Term Futures ETF. Another way to make money when the market goes down. And if we type in VIXY here as well, you'll see here on investing.com what their opinion is on the VIXY. And you can see here, if we go to technical, technical analysis. And you can see it's been much lower. It's been you know, going up with the market also. So right here, you can see it's actually giving an indication of sell, despite the fact that it is up. So that's a little bit of uh, divergence happening right there. So this is the short-term futures ETF VIXY, another trade you can make when the market goes down, you could potentially buy the VIXY and make money when the market goes down, these trades typically go up and you can see they're all green today. And that's why the VIXY is my number eight pick for July, 2022. Now we're gonna continue with the trades of volatility, VIXM. This is our last one, but I wanted to get you as many of these trades as I could. Once again, the VIXM, Pro shares VIX midterm futures. Once again, VIXM. We have all this market data on richtv.io and VIXM. You can see here all of these ETFs are available for you to trade and make money with. And a great way to make money as this market continues to struggle, you can make money on the way down in these markets with these trades. And these opportunities. So I just gave you four trades that you can make when the market goes down. And you can see these are all green today. The market is red and these trades are all green. And you can see the VIXM is a neutral and a strong buy on the technical indicators. So that's the VIXM. So we've given you the SQQQ, our number 10 pick, the VXN, our number nine pick, the VIXY, our number eight pick, and the VIXM, our number seven pick for July, 2022. And in number six, going away from these types of trades, we're going to actually talk about FedEx. FedEx is our number six pick for July, 2022. We like them. They have a dividend. It's a 1.91% dividend. We're talking about a $240 company, but it's also one of the biggest and best names out there that you can find. You can see here, when you look at the one-year chart, we'll look at the one-year chart and show you. Well, let's just first of all, look at these statistics. See the PE ratio? It's at 16. That's right kind of in the middle. Uh, shows me that it's not overvalued probably not too much undervalued, probably kind of where it should be, but there's still some huge upside because they have a nice dividend. And I think the price is right, a 1.91% dividend. And then when you look at the one-year chart, you can see clearly that it's near the lower zone, not at the bottom. It's been as low as about 200, which would have been the bottom. That would be a great entry point if you could get it at 200. But I really think at these levels of 240 or lower, are decent zones to get into FedEx. You can see it's been as high as 300 in the last year, currently at 240 and could go a little lower here, could go as low as 200. That's where I'd love to pick it up, but it's a good quality company. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. My number six pick for July, 2022. Now in richtv.io, you can simply go FDX and FedEx will pop up again. And after these videos, we will create chats and rooms for FedEx and all the picks that we talk about. So you can go in and see all the updates, news, and chat with other members in the ecosystem. You can add FedEx Corp to your watch list and see all the key market data right there at richtv.io. All right, they are our number right now. FDX is our number six pick. There is FedEx as well, coming off a nice bottom here. So making a nice little trend reversal, but you can see it's been as high as 300. So I think a good quality company and one that everyone should be aware of. So in number five, we're now going to our top five, Chewy. This is one I've never talked about, 
This is a new one that we're bringing to the community. I love the chart. You can see here, it's been as high as $97, like massive, you know, move here as high as $97. Let's see if I can put on some, there we go. So it's been as high as $97 in the last year, been as low as 22 on the bottom, on the low end here. On the low end here, been as low as 22 and currently at 35. So I think they're really close to the low end of the zone. And I like this company. It's a quality company, one that everyone should put on their radar and everyone should have on their watch list. And if we search CH, CHWY, Chewy, you can get all the market data you want. And on Rich TV, CHWY, we don't have a group chat yet for Chewy, but we will after these videos get released. And you can get all the market data there on Chewy as well. You can add it to your watch list, take a look at the chart and get all the key market data. Okay, if you wanna learn more market data, you can see here on investing.com, go down, take a look at their price to earning ratios. They don't have any right now. So something to look at, no dividend. So definitely not at the same level as some of the other companies we've talked about, but it's one that I like. I like the chart. I think there's opportunity here. And I think it's one that we need to definitely put on our watch list and put on our radar down 6% today uh, with the market really selling off right now. So that's Chewy, my number five pick for July, 2022. In number four, Lightspeed. This is another company that was a huge success story in Canada, uh, a huge, huge, huge winner. You can see it went as high as $130, just an enormous move up. And now it's come back down to earth, which I believe could be a buying opportunity. It's actually been as low as you can see here, as low as $15. And it's currently right now at around $23. So closer to the bottom, huge upside. Another quality company that I think you need to put on your radar, put on your watch list. It's a growth company. So risky, very volatile, could still go lower, but you can see the upside is enormous and one I haven't talked about and another one that we need to start watching because it's had a lot of success in the past and we could see some of these growth companies explode again. And if they do, you want to be in them before they explode, not after they explode. So this is Lightspeed. Love to know what you guys think. LSPD in both Canada and the United States. Lightspeed. Lightspeed Commerce Inc. on the New York Stock Exchange and on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Lightspeed Commerce Inc. So they're my number four pick for July 2022. And in now we're going into our number three pick, Baba. Alibaba has just been obliterated all year. When we go to the one-year chart, you can see it's been as high as, let's go to the five-year max. So you can go to the five-year max and see this thing has been as high as $300. Absolutely incredible for us to now be able to buy Baba at 117 and it's been as low as 73. So I must remind you guys that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Investing is inherently risky, especially right now as we are in essentially a recession. We have been, they haven't announced it, but it's pretty clear. Stocks are down, crypto are down, and they have been for quite some time. So in my opinion, we are in a recession, but Alibaba is a quality company that you need to put on your radar, you need to put on your watch list, and it has huge potential and the, you can see if we go to BABA right here, Alibaba Group Holdings. And if we go to BABA here on Rich TV, we do not have a BABA group yet, but we will create one after this video gets released. And you can go into that group chat and chat. You can add it to your watch list and take a look at its charts and key market data right at richtv.io. And if you scroll down on investing.com, you'll see some key stats that are very important to me, like price to earning ratio, still quite high here on Alibaba. The average price to earning ratio right now for companies in North America are about 15 to 16 times. This one is trading at 34, so it's still quite high, could go a little bit lower, but I think the upside is tremendous quality company here kind of like the Amazon of Asia. So love to know what you guys think about Alibaba. I just think there's some huge upside with the price being so low 
and has come down so much from 300 all the way to a low of 71. 71 would have been an amazing entry if it goes back down to those areas. I really think it's a screaming buy. Uh, but I even think that these levels are lower could be an interesting opportunity to make 100, maybe even 200% in Alibaba long term in the next three to five years. That's our number three pick. And in number two, another dividend stock. We love dividend stocks in this type of market environment. And Cisco. Cisco, you can see here on the one year chart, has been as high as $64, currently at $43. I think this is an opportunity for Cisco. I think if you wanted to get into a quality company that's a dividend stock that's close to a bottom, Cisco's it. You can see the, the 52 week low is 41. We're sitting at 43. We're not much higher than the 52 week low. The top is 64. So I think there's some really good upside here for Cisco. We haven't created a group chat yet for Cisco either. We will after this video. You can see here Cisco Systems right here. Their symbol is right there, CSCO. And you can see the market data here. You can see the key data here on richtv.io. And if we go to Cisco here, I wanna show you key data that is important to me. Uh, obviously a dividend, 3.47% dividend. They'll show you this info on investing.com right here. And a 15 times price to earning ratio. So right around the average, I wouldn't say it's overvalued because it's at 15 times. I wouldn't say it's undervalued. It's probably where it should be. And it's got a nice dividend of 3.47%, but I feel like the chart is down. So I feel like as an opportunity for an investor, there's a good opportunity here to buy low, make some good money. In the meantime, collect a nice dividend of 3.47% while you're holding. And if and when it goes back to the $50, $60 range, that's where I'd be looking to sell and take profits. Now, last but not least, our number one pick now is UPS. I think right now you're going to see more and more people are going to start really uh, focusing on quality companies. UPS is another one of those quality companies. You can see here in the one year chart, it's been as high as $230. And I've been talking about investing in value stocks and quality companies and dividend stocks for over a year now. So the bottom here uh, is, is not much lower than where we are today. So that's where I feel there's an opportunity here for UPS. They also have a nice dividend here. We're talking about a 3.34% dividend on UPS. So another quality company, and it's not at the top. In my opinion, it is definitely closer to a bottom on UPS. So that's why I believe everyone should put UPS on their radar and on their watch list. Quality company that I think everybody should be aware of, UPS United Parcel Service. You can add them to your watch list here at Rich TV. We will create a group chat for them. And you can see here their 52 week high, $233. 52 week low, 165, and currently trading at 181 UPS. And love to know what you guys think. Once again, a nice dividend of 3.34% on UPS. And its PE ratio is right around 14 times. So a little bit lower than the average. So I would say it's kind of closer to being undervalued than it is overvalued. I think there's opportunity here. You can see the chart says it's near a bottom. Could go a little bit lower, maybe to back to 165. That'd be a great entry. But I also see there's a huge gap here to fill, uh, opportunity to make some money. And I think UPS is a quality company you can hold that'll pay you a dividend while you're waiting for the price to go higher. So love to know what you guys think of today's picks. We've given you four picks that you can make money with as this market goes down. We've given you three dividend stocks that are quality companies that have been around that we believe will continue to pay you as you hold them until the prices go higher, which based on the charts, we think all three will go higher. And we've given you three growth stocks that we believe are near bottoms, could go a little bit lower, but have some huge upside. Love to know what you guys think. If you like these videos, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe and join our ecosystem at richtv.io and a community built by investors for investors where you can learn how to trade stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, metaverse, a one-stop shop, everything investing. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and I'm out.
Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich Today Live in Mexico. I'm going to show you guys today exclusively my top 10 stocks for July 2022. Stay tuned. Go touch that dial. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. Bring you the winners. I'll bring it to you first.